Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. Solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, 5 over n minus 6 over n to the third power minus 2n squared equals n squared plus 5n minus 6 over n to the third power minus 2n squared. Okay. Well, what I want to do is kind of get um, all of them have the same denominator. The only thing that's not n to the third minus 2n squared is just n right there. So if I multiply this by n squared minus 2n over itself, we can see multiplying that out, we should get n to the third minus 2n squared. So that will give us the same denominator. So let's go do that. And so this becomes the denominator, like I wanted, n to the third minus 2n squared. And the numerator, well, 5 times n squared is 5n squared. 5 times minus 2n is minus 10n. And here we just have a minus 6. Right hand side, okay, right hand side is just what we have here n squared plus 5n minus 6 over n to the third minus 2n squared. Now, I'm going to take this denominator and multiply it by both sides. n to the third minus 2n squared, n to the third minus 2n squared. These eliminate, that's the whole point, and we have 5n squared minus 10n minus 6 equals n squared plus 5n minus 6 there. Okay? So now, let's bring everything we can over to the left. Subtract to n squared. 5n squared minus n squared is a 4n squared. Subtract to 5n to both sides. And minus 10n minus 5n is a minus 15n. And we add a 6 to both sides. And that gives us, well, a 0. So we don't really need that. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So now this is all equal to 0. If I pull out an n, I have n here times 4n minus 15 equals 0. So set both parts equal to 0 for the multiplication. So n equals 0. And then here, 4n minus 15 equals 0. 4n equals a positive 15. And n equals a 15 over 4. So now we have to check both of these to see if there's any extraneous solutions. All right. Let's check the four, 15 over 4 first. Okay? So let's go do that one first. To do that, I take my original equation and I'll plug 15 over 4 in for n and see if the left and right hand side are equal. 5 over 15 over 4 minus 6 over 15 over 4 to the third power minus 2 times 15 over 4 squared. And is that equal to, so much work here, 15 over 4 squared plus 5 times 15 over 4 minus 6 over 15 over 4 to the third power minus 2 times 15 over 4 squared. Okay? All right. Make sure I have it all good. All right. So let's see what it is. What's 5 divided by 15 divided by 4? And that is a fraction. That's just 4 thirds. Minus this one's a little more complicated. 6 divided by 15 divided by 4 to the third power. Minus 2 times 15 divided by 4 squared. And we have a 128 over 525. That might be a little red flag. I'm just kind of double checking my work. Looks like I did it right. We'll see. Here, same thing. 15 divided by 4 squared plus 5 times 15 divided by 4 minus 6. 
divided by 15 divided by 4 to the third power minus 2 times 15 divided by 4 squared. And what's this A fraction here? Oh, 5, 7, 2 over 5, 25. So let's see what happens here. What's 4 thirds minus 128 divided by 525 as a fraction? I have a hunch it's the same, and it is kind of crazy, but it's true. 572 over 525 is equal to 572 over 525. Left and right hand side are equal, so 15 over 4 is a true solution. What about 0? Let's plug 0 in for n and check. So 5 over 0 minus 6 over 0 to the third power minus 2 times 0 squared is equal to 0 squared plus 5 times 0 minus 6 over 0 to the third power minus 2 times 0 squared. Well, this is dead in the water right in the beginning. We can't divide by 0. It's undefined. So we know, at least right there and here, it won't work either. 0, 0, and this one. Well, that's just basically we're dividing by 0 everywhere. So 0 cannot work. So nope for the 0. So our only true solution, the one we checked, right, 0 is what we call extraneous, as n equals 15 over Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com